you're trying to relax and do the right thing now, try to move your head. Like, do the best you ever did, you know what I'm saying? You guys understand what I'm saying? Don't make me go off, you understand? That's work. That's work. That's work. At 31, Kevin Rooney has a stable of two toddlers and one 21-year-old heavyweight champion. All of which happened happily in the long run, but unhappily at that moment, after Alexis Arguello ended his own championship ambitions. Rooney learned that giving advice can be more rewarding than receiving punches. Rooney's journey to his enviable position began as a teenager in upstate New York, where he sat at the feet of Zen boxing master Cus D'Amato. It was like a power battle. And then the more I got to know him, the more he spoke to me. Like when I first came up, we used to take long rides to the city and he would talk over and over the stories and, you know, life in general. You know, I feel that everything that I know and, and that I teach is what I learned from Cus. Rooney was D'Amato's keenest disciple when Tyson arrived at age 14 from a correctional institution. Gradually, a bond developed between the amateur and the pro, and D'Amato groomed Rooney to carry on his legacy through the future champion, even though he had never trained anyone before. The torch was passed when D'Amato died a year and a half ago. We just both grew up around Cus. We're like uh, brothers. It's not business to me between me and him. I guess we're more friends than, than just, you know, boxer, trainer. But when it comes to business, when the job has to be done, you know, we both do our job. He's only looking for one shot on you. Your defense tight, you have to be even more aware now, you understand? Yeah. You can't get lazy, you can't get careless. Michael, you have a great jab, you're not using it at all. I want to see a snappy hard jab. You're not fighting this guy. We're going to fight, we're going to fight, we're going to bullshit. But given the high expectations of the precocious Tyson, whenever he looks less than his best, whether it's his fault or not, Rumors surface, rumors that a veteran, perhaps like Eddie Futch, will join or replace Rooney. I'm able to handle it. I know what I'm doing. See, now I've said this before. I've said it to newspaper men. I, you know, I know how to read, and I see, you know, you know, this guy bring this guy in. Rooney's not doing it. This and that. I just take that stuff with a grain of salt. See, I, I've always said, I don't, I'm not, I don't consider that I'm better than anybody. But I don't consider anyone is better than me. Now, how can I say that? I say that because I, I got an education. I was around Custom Model, who was head and shoulders above everybody. There wasn't a greater trainer, teacher, or manager than Cus. Inevitably, despite the dynamic Tyson's perfect record, Rooney has been and will continue to be targeted for his imperfections. Rooney balances the ballyhoo with the belly aching by working with prison inmates. That, of course, is not unlike Customato and the young, far from perfect Mike Tyson. We're all dealt hands in life. Now, these guys, you know, their environment or whatever, or they, or they were just, you know, not too bright at the time they committed their, their, their crimes or whatever. So, well, I've I seen that side of life. So, and then I met a guy like Cus. So, well, now let me, you know, let me try to help. See, I don't need the job. But for the reason I told you before, it's a way for me to refine my skills. Whatever the pressure of his job, the responsibility that goes with the opportunity, life is a knockout for Kevin Rooney right now, <laughs> as it is for Mike Tyson and everyone around him. I think we got a little bit of a dynasty going, and if we want to roll, I feel like give him good advice. Now, if the fighter goes out there and does it, that's good. If the fighter doesn't do it, that's bad. And if he doesn't do it, then, they, then they're going to look at me. So, so far they haven't had that opportunity. But you can see the handwriting's on the wall. If something is to go wrong, it's all going to come on Kevin Rooney. But that's the business. So, you know, it's no big deal. I'm not going to lose any more hair over it. <laughs>